Becky and Brad, who are both artists, their home is a very contemporary 36-foot high-profile dome. Their studios are located in the lower-level walkout. The split level works great. And then it's also designed so that we can get things, large things, straight from the garage down into our studio that's downstairs. And we can also, um, we have a lot of storage down there. Well, I, I tend to collect a little bit of everything. Oh, the eclectic toys. <laughs> right, wind-up toys, little mechanical things. Mm -hmm. Lately it's been other things like instruments, sundials, things like mm -hmm. that. And I was coming in, quite a few uh, ship memorabilia, ship parts. Boats, like boats. I'm not sure why brands always like domes. For me, part of it is that you get so much light into the place, and I'm one of those that require a lot of light. The feeling of it being so spacious. Yeah, and we also lived in some dingy little old houses yeah, down in the cities yeah. for years, very and they were, dark. you know. 1920s, 1930s, or earlier, very small windows, kind of dark rooms. And I guess also, I mean, my interest is, has a lot to do with kind of that, that linear energy thing. And I mean, really being able to have something that's that energy efficient, that, that's that self-contained. And um, the, the space has always felt real well. So I always liked domes, actually, before I even saw one. The first one I ever saw was the one that you had at the state fairground. That was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were just talking about that earlier. That was like 20 years ago or something. And, uh, and I just really loved the space as soon as I walked into it. I had that real open feeling, it was real nice. There's the bedroom that kind of runs around the side to kind of a dressing area, closet storage area, to a little office on the back side. So it all kind of uh, connects together. And the idea was there is that the office is furthest away so we didn't have to look at the office every day or we in the bedroom. It's kind of just a large open loft space, but it's still kind of isolated from the rest of the, the house in a way. I think we started with the lower cabinets and just laid it all out right on the spot and just kind of bent everything into place. And then the upper cabinets are just kind of uh, copies of the, the panels themselves. It's a real um, kind of condensed space in a way. It's like it's it's very spacious and it feels very open, but it, it just seems really self-contained and it's it's very efficient. And uh, of course, the space that it's in and the views that it affords, and just the difference of in a kind of living in a roundhouse or a house with a little bit different form than like a normal square house. The best thing about the dome, it's all mine. <laughs> A lot of people wonder how you can fit